there and welcome back to the Marley Bird YouTube channel. I'm Marley Bird and in this video I will teach you part four of the crochet Christmas stocking mystery make along. By this point in the process you've completed the cuff and the leg and you're preparing for the heel. Now the heel might seem like it's going to be very scary but I'm telling you I kept it extremely simple. We essentially are going to make an hourglass shape for our heel and we will fold this shape in half and seam it along that edge to create a nice little heel. It makes the stitches very simple. We don't have to do a lot of extra guessing and this part will go really quickly. If you don't have the pattern yet, it is available for free over at marleybird.com. I've put a link in the video description box right down there below. Click on that link, it'll take you to the blog post where you can find all of the details about this pattern. Get the ad-free PDF if you want to purchase that, or get a link to each part of the pattern along the way. Let's go ahead, grab your homework, grab your pattern, and let's jump in and make a heel. This is where we left off in the last video and I will go ahead and I'm gonna cut my color D and I'm going to finish off my work. I didn't do that in the last video, but I'll do that here. So I'm gonna finish off my work, okay? The reason I'm finishing that off is because I will be rejoining my color A to a point where I've already marked. So if you remember in the first video, I said that your color A is gonna be your cuff and your heel and your toe. So we wanna go back to the color that we used for the cuff. With your color A, you're going to join at the first marker you did on the last round, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and join with a slip stitch at this marker. I'm also gonna leave a long tail because I can use that to seam together that hourglass that we're going to create, okay? So I'm gonna leave that long tail. And now that I have joined with my slip stitch, I'm going to turn my work. I'm not gonna chain one at all. Actually, I don't do any chain ones in this whole section, okay? Working back along the back half of my stocking, okay? So from this point over here to this point, I wanna do single crochets. So I'll start right here in the first one that I have a marker in, and do not remove that marker. Keep that marker in place. We're gonna use that later on. And I will single crochet the number of single crochet that's listed in the pattern, or essentially over to my second marker. When you get to that second marker, leave that marker in place. All right, here we go. We're gonna leave all of these stitches here unworked. We're not gonna do anything with these. The heel is worked back and forth in rows, so we will no longer work around as we're making the heel. We work back and forth in rows. I do not want you to chain one or anything. I simply want you to turn your work. Now we're going to work a single crochet two together. So we're on the right side of our fabric. I'm gonna go into that first single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, go into the next single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through two, okay? That's one single crochet, two together. Now I will single crochet into each single crochet all the way to the end. What you will find is we are going to work shaping stitches, or those single crochet two togethers, at the start of each row for the number of rows indicated in the pattern. And that'll get us down to, usually it's a little bit more than half the number of stitches that you started with, okay? Once you get to the end, turn your work. Do not chain. We will work another single crochet two together here at the beginning. And then single crochet all the way to the end. And we will do this until we get down to the number of stitches listed in the pattern. When you get to the end of the row for the first half of the heel, you will turn your work, 
Now we complete a center row. On this row, we will not work any decreases or increases. So simply work your single crochets into each stitch along this row. And you should be on the wrong side of your fabric. So that way when we turn and get to the right side and begin the next half of our heel, you're ready to get going. All right, so here we go. I've turned my work. This is the second half of the heel I'm getting ready to create. And on this half, we're going to increase at the beginning of each row, okay? I still do not want to chain one. So in this first single crochet, I'm gonna do one, and then I am going to take a marker and place it into the top of the stitch I just created. It will help you find it next time, I promise. So there's one, and I'm gonna put the second one into the same stitch. Now I will work a single crochet into each stitch to the end. Now I turn my work, do not chain one, work a single crochet, grab another marker, and place it in that first stitch you just created. Just trust me on this. Do another single crochet in that first stitch. Now work a single crochet into each stitch to the end, and you'll notice, for those of you who are like, I don't know if I'm supposed to do one more stitch or not, You've already marked it, so you know that that is the last stitch. It's right there. That's why I use that marker, okay? It makes it easier to find. Turn your work. Work two single crochets again. You can take this marker out and move it up. Work your second single crochet there at the beginning, and then into each stitch all the way to the end. Again, over here, you know the last stitch is the one that you have marked there. That's why the marker is handy. Take my marker out to get into it. Ah, there we go. Get in there. <laughs> and make your single. Turn your work and continue. You will do this until you're back to the number of stitches you started with or just follow along with the pattern. I have it listed out row for row. The last row you complete should be a right side row. And so when you get there, you don't have to use these markers anymore on the last row you do. Just make sure you get back to the same number of stitches that you started with. And then you will fasten off with color A, okay? We will then seam together the heel using the tails that we left long with color A. So here I am coming up to where my marker is. That marker is so helpful. Really will help you find where that last stitch is. Single crochet and then fasten off. Now, some of you might be asking, Marley, why didn't you chain one at the start of the rows? I actually found it to be cleaner without the chain one. That's why I didn't do the chain one at the start of the row. Um, I thought it looked nice and clean without, okay? Now my little tail here is showing really bad. There we go. Okay, so this is what you look like. This is the hourglass shape we got. Pretty convenient, right? Not too complicated. What we're going to do now is I like to turn it. So I'm looking at it like this. So I'm looking at the wrong side of my, my heel. I'm gonna grab my bent tip tapestry needle and I can use this tail to seam this closed. And then the tail that we left long over here, I am going to thread it across and then seam this closed. So let me show you. First thing I'm gonna do, I essentially take the heel flap and I just fold it in half. And I'm just going to whip stitch it closed. Nothing too big of a deal. I'm gonna start up here where I still have this marker. Make sure you keep that marker in place. Just line everything up and just start to whip stitch this together. Doesn't have to be like super pretty or anything. You could do like a, a cross stitch or something there as a decorative stitch if that's something you wanna do on yours. But really basically you just wanna get this seam nice and closed, tight enough to where when you put items in the Christmas stocking it's not gonna 
cause a hole or come apart. We're gonna get that nice together, tuck in anything that you find unsightly. Okay, and at the end, just weave your tail into the inside. So I bring it to the inside of the fabric, pull that in, and then you can weave in that tail later, okay? So that's one side. See how that's all brought together? And then in the interest of using the tails that we have available to us, I take the long one that I left at the beginning and I'm just going to essentially just thread it behind the single crochets I did. I could have just like single crocheted over top of it and gotten to where I wanted it to be, but yeah, I like to do it this way. And I know where it is and what I'm doing with it. Okay, so I'm bringing it over here so that I can use it to seam the opposite side. See what I mean? If you don't pull it too snug, get that out of the way. Close this side up. Now I just use this to start seaming this closed. So this way I don't have to worry about doing any sort of a crochet join. I mean, I could have done a join as you go as I worked like increases and decreases, but this just seemed like it was really the easiest way to do this heel, especially for a stocking. I mean, why overthink it? It's not like somebody's actually going to wear it or anything. So having a little bit of a whip stitch seam here doesn't really matter. And with the yarn I'm using, it doesn't hardly show. And as I mentioned, you could go back here and do like some sort of a cross stitch. If you know any sort of um, decorative stitches, you could do that also. Bring your tail to the inside and voila, everybody, check it out. You have yourself a heel, okay? So we leave these markers in place. You have your heel, this is the opening. So if I put this on the side, let me tuck, tuck in my tails, pull out my loop so you can see where we are. So here's the loop, here's the leg, and here is my little heel turn. And it looks great on both sides. And you see why we centered it down the center of the leg there? So that when it folds, that center, all of our center uh, join rows are there at the back and they don't really show. So we get a beautiful view of our stocking no matter what. Now keep these stitch markers in place. We use them in part five as we begin the foot of our stocking. I'm Marley Bird, and this is the Christmas Stocking Mystery Make Along. If you're working along with me, be sure to share with me on social media. Use hashtag Marley Bird or hashtag Christmas Stocking M-A-L and hashtag Brianna K. We would love to see your beautiful work. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for joining me on the Marley Bird YouTube channel. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit subscribe. I've put a link right over there, or you can watch a couple of the videos I've already selected for you right down there. If you wanna follow me on social media, I've put my links right over there. You can have all Marley all the time. Bye guys.